I don't believe in fate. And I won't say it. All right, you win. You win. I give. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Destiny! Destiny! No escaping! That's for me! Destiny! Destiny! No escaping! That's for me! Destiny! Destiny! No escaping! No. I give in. There is no escaping the hype train that is next gen destiny. We are here and there is only one thing to do. I am going to go to my favorite room in the house and cook up some meat real quick. Kitchen. First off, you already know I'm playing on the hardest difficulty because people like to talk shit if you don't. I'm not gonna drop no names, but you know, there's a certain motherfucker in my comment section, <coughs> Iman Moore, who constantly does that shit in the comment section like I don't be reading it, bitches, and I'm not gangster enough to flash your cell phone number on the screen. Nigga, now. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, we are playing Destiny. This is not a beta, this is the real thing, so let's get right into this story. Which is not really at the beginning, but kind of at the beginning because I skipped through the tutorial. This here is a pistol. And that there is a dead guy. Oh, oh, shot him in the ass. That's a tough way to go. Bang, bang, bang. Snuff him. Oh my goodness. Superman punched to the face. Superman punched to the face again. Like I'm playing UFC. I'm knocking everybody out. Roman Reigns is in space. What's interesting about this shooter is that they made it accessible to everyone. Oh my goodness, I'm getting bust. You know, how come y'all bullets be curving and doing all this wanted bullet time matrix shit? And I just got a regular old pistol. You know, don't get me wrong, it's a hell of a pistol. This here's a pistol. But, I'm just saying, like, come on. I, I got all this wooshy wooshy futuristic stuff, and I got a fucking musket out here. Come on. This is hardly fair. As I was saying, whenever I am explaining destiny to someone, I tell them, God damn, I blew his head off clean. God damn, I blew his head off clean too. God damn, Pistol Pete. I, no, you know what? I'm not even Pistol Pete. I'm John Marston. I'm Space Marston out here. HB Fresh or Space Marston. As I was saying before I was going ham. The way I explain this game to people is you take a game that kind of has a Mass Effect look and feel to it. And then give it a Borderlands style shoot and loot story mode. With a Call of Duty style versus multiplayer. And you just, it, it's perfect. Because what you do in the story and the co-op carries over to this to the multiplayer which alleviates my one standing problem with games like this in the sense that there's always people who fiend who are just gonna have better guns than you on day one because they stayed up all night or they got the game two days early because they live in California or whatever the hell may be but you know I'm just I'm just speaking you know for the regular gamer here you know it's some people out there that want to claim that they nice they are like oh that shit don't happen to me yeah. Yeah. lying bitches yeah, I swear that shit don't be happening to y'all, but maybe that's just because I suck in Call of Duty. And it's okay. It's okay. I'm willing to accept the fact that I suck. I, I, my skills have plateaued. They're just not going to get any better. But this. This. I like this. <laughs> oh, the claw. I hope you're ready for this. Oh, so you think that this is your ally? I was born in it! Molded by it! Demons of the Fallen! 
when I am done shooting you all in the face repeatedly, and you are left bloody, battered, and broken, then, and only then, you have my permission to die. That's a huge bitch. K.O. Kane! You are just a fucking master of stealth and cover, aren't you? Come on, bitch! Come get some! Oh. I hate you, bitch! How on God's green earth did a hand cannon become more effective at stopping hordes of enemies than a shotgun? There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the Traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the Traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us. I am a CL4P TP steward bot, no but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive or had existed in the first place. I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. this, it's only because my programmers made this my default tone of voice. I'm actually quite depressed. You know, I'm usually pretty good at following the story for games like this. But what the fuck did we just watch? <laughs>